Looking at number five, we got Quincy Monday, a junior from Princeton University. In his freshman season, Quincy went 24 and 13, and was only nine freshmen in program history and three from the season to qualify for the NCAA championships. He lost his final match that season, 13 to 12, in a tiebreaker. He also placed third at the EIWA championships with a lone loss coming to the eventual champion, Josh Humphreys of Lehigh. He earned first team All Ivy League honors after being only Princeton wrestler to go 5 0 in the Ivy League. In his sophomore season, he went 23 and 4. He was an All American, earned first team NCAA honors, and was first team All Ivy. He was also the NWCA Scholar All American, the EIWA runner up, and national qualifier, and was seeded in fifth before the event was canceled by the NCAA due to the coronavirus. The EIWA Academic Award Honorary ranked 4th or 5th in the nation by Intermat for much of the season, being number 6th ranked Josh Humphreys of Lehigh. He also beat Iowa's 4th ranked Caleb Young in a duel, and eventually Princeton open loss to riders Jesse Della Vecchio with a win in a duel in a match of the 7th. At number 4, we got senior Jesse Della Vecchio from Yara University. In his sophomore season, he was nationally ranked as highly as number 13. He also posted a 25-7 mark overall, including an 11-1 record in dual matches. He also won a pair of matches at NCAAs, going 2-2. Two two. His NCAA bid marked the 11th straight year Ryder had a national qualifier at 165. He joined Chad Walsh, Ramon Santiago, James Brundage, and Jim Resnick. He went 5-1 in EWL duels and finished second at EWL championships. His only loss was against EWL competition, Chance Marceller of Lock Haven, who was an All-American after finishing third at the NCAAs. He finished tied for second on the team with four wins by fall. He was selected EWL Wrestler of the Week on January 14th and finished fourth at the Southern Scuffle and sixth at the Keystone Classic. In 2017 and 18, he wrestled unattached, posting a 20-5 record. At number 3, we got David Carr, a sophomore from Iowa State. Luke Carr is the youngest and has lost to number 4 ranked Jesse Del Vecchio, we have him at number 3 because of the sheer potential he has. He became Iowa State's first ever Junior World Champion and won the 2019 UWW Junior National Championship to earn a spot on the best of 3 finals for the Junior World Team spot. He also wrestled to an 18-1 record, 9-0 in duels during his retro freshman season. He also qualified for the NCAA Championships at 157, and was seeded third for the national tournament before the season ended early due to an outbreak of the COVID-19 virus. He's also named first team All-American by the NWCA, earned NWCA Scholar All-American honors by the Big 12 Championship at 157, defeating OSU's Wyatt Sheets by 6-4. He was Iowa State's 213th individual conference champion in school history. He was the first freshman Big 12 champion since David Zabrisk, Iowa State's fifth freshman Big 12 champion, named second team academic All Big 12, earned Big 12 Rest of the Week honors after a 6 1 victory over number two ranked Caleb Young. He took third place at the Cliff King Las Vegas Invitational, led the team in total dual points scored, takedowns per duel, and total dual back points. He also posted two wins by fall, two by tech, and five by major decision. 2018 and 19, he registered his initial season at Iowa State, posted a 23 1 record while wrestling unattached, won four out of the five tournaments he competed in, taking third in the other one. In high school, he was noted as one of the nation's top recruits out of high school, packed as number two overall recruit in class of 2018 by full wrestling and number one at his weight. He competed for his dad, Cyclone legend Nate Carr, while wrestling for Perry High School. He was a five-time high school state champion, cadet world bronze medalist, Fargo national champion, Flow Who's number one champion, Ironman champion, and compiled a high school record of 246-7. and seven. At number two, we got Ryan Deacon, a senior from Northwestern. In the 2019-20 season, as a redshirt junior, at 157, was a finalist for the prestigious House Trophy, a Big Ten champion, and put together one of the most dominant single seasons in Northwestern history, while going undefeated at 157 with a perfect 21-0 record, while finishing the season as the consensus number one ranked wrestler, 
heading into the 2020 NCAA Championships. He earned bonus points in 13 of his 21 victories, securing 8 major decisions and 5 falls, posting 55 team points in just 13 duels. He won the 157 pound division of the Cliff King Las Vegas Invitational for the second consecutive year, including convincing wins over number 1 Hayden Hill Day and number 2 David Carr on the same day in the finals and semifinals. In his redshirt sophomore year, he competed at 157, qualifying for the NCAA Championships for his second straight campaign, placing his weight class with a career best finish at 6th. In his redshirt freshman year, he competed at 149 and combined with Sebastian Rivera to notch 63 combined wins. In high school, he was a 2014 Colorado State Champion. He went 129-12 in the first three years, he was a 2015 state runner-up at 126, finished third in Colorado at 106. He was a three-time team MVP, first team All-State, and Fargo Junior Greco All-American. He was ranked 15th in the country by Intermat and Flow Wrestling. And finally, at number one, we got Hayden Hidley, a senior from North Carolina. In his junior season, he earned 2020 All-American First Team Honors by the NWCA. He was seeded number 2 for the 2020 NCAA Championships and was named the 2020 ACC Wrestler of the Year. He was also the 2020 ACC Champion after winning for the third straight year. He finished 28-1 on the season overall and 21 of his 28 wins for bonus points. He placed first at the Southern Scuffle and beat number 7 Del Vecchio of Ryder in the finals. He was named ACC Wrestler of the Week, a league best, three times, and was 2020 NWCA Scholar All-American. He finished the season ranked number two at 157, for both the Intermat and Flow Wrestling. In the 2018-19 season, he earned All-American honors for the second straight year, placing fourth at 157. He finished with a 24-4 record, 14-2 in duels, and 16-0 in bonus point matches. He started the season with a first place finish at the Hokie Open, and went to Romania for the U23 World Championships. In 2017-18, he was the NCAA Finalist, 2018 All-American at 157. He was also the ACC Champion, going 2-0 on the day. He also won gold at the 2018 U23 World Team Trials at 70 kilograms. In the finals, he took the first bout 8-4 over Northwestern's Ryan Deacon, only for Deacon even the series 1-1 after attack. In the final match, he was down 3-1 late, but scored the winning takedown with only one second left. The whole weight class is just a huge toss-up, with no guarantee that Hidalip will beat or will lose to Ryan Deacon. Who knows, maybe Carl will clutch it up and be an NCAA champion his junior year. Just had to wait and see. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and sub for more wrestling content like this. Peace.